Hello, everybody. Okay, so week three, blind spot number three. Um, now, it's phrased as I'm too fearful to be empathetic, but that is a little deceiving to me in the phraseology because of what it assumes is that you've actually made a choice to not be empathetic. And that's actually not the case at all. What happens um, scientifically, and I'll send some supporting articles about this, but, but what happens is that when we feel threatened, when our amygdala hijack takes over, we actually lose the capacity, we physically lose the capacity to empathize. And so if we are in amygdala hijack, then those around us much more easily go there as well because we are in a complete disconnect and that puts them in a space of unknown, which of course, as we all know, will often throw us into an amygdala hijack. So the idea here is, is to be aware that that when, when you are in a place of fear, then you are discouraging others from stepping forward and, and attempting to participate, create empathy, and build relationships. Uh, and so that can be really difficult. And as leaders and managers and owners of our businesses, when an employee or a customer comes in, in a place of amygdala hijack, you know, some jerk stole their space out in the parking lot, their boyfriend just called and broke up with them you know, over the phone, whatever it may be, could very well have absolutely nothing to do with you, but it puts them in a place of closedness and not being able to understand your perspective. When you begin to speak a request, this is a really prime example of when you will often get a disconnect in what you said and what they heard. Because see, we still tend to default to blind spot number one, which is everybody thinks the way I do. Which infers that when you say something, it's heard the way you say it. But you know, how long have we been playing the telephone game, right? We know, with or without science, that what we say is not what's heard. And when you throw this, this fearful component, this amygdala component onto it, now you have just really muddied up these waters. And so that's the point I want to get across. Keeping in mind, uh, when you are trying to talk to people, if they look disconnected, they probably are, and you might want to reschedule this. You also might want to find out if you caused it or if you didn't, because that can be a wonderful conversation and exploration into how you're showing up so that you can reduce amygdala and improve communication so you're not having to reiterate and restate and redefine uh, your needs, your wants, your intentions, and your expectations for your business. Okay, I think that's about sums it up. I'm going to send some supporting uh, articles and or something that I find that's wonderful. Y'all have a great day, week, month. So glad for y'all being here. Really appreciate your uh, your commitment to paying attention uh, to your businesses, to yourselves, and that you're feeling that I've got something to offer that. Um, if that's tr really true, do me a favor and just throw a comment down below, even if it's a you know, an emoticon of some sort, oh, or emoji, I guess is what I should be saying. Okay, bye-bye. You are amazing and wonderful just the way you are, by the way.